So it's being reported today that Riyad Mahrez is a step closer to his move to Arsenal. Um, I'll be straight up honest with you. I would be over the moon if we signed him. And I'd actually take him over Lamar right now, to be honest. Um, I know that's going to sound a bit controversial because I absolutely rate Lamar. I think he's an exceptional talent and I think he's going to be one of the best players in the world within the next three or four years. Um, that being said, though, Riyad Mahrez is proven in the Premier League. He's also one player of the season in the Premier League. And as we all know, the Premier League is the toughest league in the world. So, you know, I don't think any Arsenal fan could be upset if we did sign Mahrez, to be honest. Um, we all know what he's capable of. He was on fire the season before last. Admittedly, last season he went on a bit of a holiday, but the whole Leicester team were on holiday. And don't even get me started about the Arsenal players were on holiday last season. So... I think it'd be a great signing, um, and it'd cost about the same as Lamar. Um, although I do think Lamar is unbelievable, and I still believe he'd walk straight into our starting eleven. But we're here for the here and now. We've waited a long time to be going out and signing top-class players. It's not all about ones for the future. It's all about now. And if that's the case, then Mares is the now. He's proven he can do it in this league. So. We're going to see how this one pans out. There's reports coming out from various sources that he's left Algeria to come back to England. Um, Leicester have come out and said that he's not in training today and he's been given a little bit of extra time off because he was on international duty, etc, etc. Um, sounds with this one, although I don't really believe many transfer rumours, it does sound like there is no smoke without fire. Um, so, yeah, let's hope we get this done. And... Um, We've got ourselves a top draw player, if that is the case. Um, another thing I want to mention as well is if we do sign Mares or even Lamar, um, I can't really see Wenger playing a four, uh, a three at the back. I think he'll revert back to a four at the back because I can't see Mares or Lamar being wing backs, to be honest with you. So, you know, unless there's a wholesale clear out of quite a few attacking players. You know, I can't really see him playing a three at the back, so I think he'd actually revert back to a four at the back. Um, in the four at the back, I think we were more fluid than the three. Although we did grind out a lot of wins with the three at the back. But we also gave up a hell of a lot of chances um, with the three centre-backs. And we didn't create as many, as, as many chances as we did um, when we had the four at the back. So... A lot of questions need to be answered, and I'm sure in the next coming days and coming weeks, we're going we're gonna to find out all the answers. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Thanks for all the love, um, all the comments on previous videos. Appreciate it. Um, if you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? Um, to all those that have subscribed, really appreciate it. Over a 1,000 subs now, and well on the way to 2,000. So thanks very much to all of you. Um, and smash that like button to pieces. Really, really appreciate it. Anyway, have a good day, people.